We are staying on top of breaking news tonight. A massive fire at a facility for homeless veterans in downtown Indianapolis and right now a massive effort for the past nearly two hours trying to put it out. Let's check back in with Marina Silva near 10th and Pennsylvania. She's live for us. So Marina, it looks like this fire is actually getting worse right now. Well, Jenny, firefighters are still trying to work on this fire. We're at HVAF. I actually have Emmy, who's the CEO. And Emmy, what can you tell me about what everybody needs to know right now? So the building that is on fire is called Manchester Apartments. It serves as a transitional housing facility for 51 veterans who are facing homelessness here in our community. Um, not sure the origin of the fire. Um, know that a uh, preliminary sweep of the building was done, so we're working on getting full accountability of the veterans that live there and then working with local agencies to get safe housing for tonight. What's your reaction to seeing it? You were telling me you saw the smoke just from the interstate. Yeah, I live not far from here, so um, when I heard there was a fire, I got my car, and from the interstate, you can see the smoke, and it's just sickening. Um, these are men and women who have already faced significant barriers and um, are trying to turn their lives here around at HVAF, so a devastating loss like tonight um, is not helpful for them, um, and my heart just breaks for those that um, are losing all of their belongings today. What can we as a community do to help them? We uh, hopefully can in the next few days join together to make sure that we find safe housing for them. Um, you know, veterans are more likely to be homeless than non-veterans, so they're already facing, um, you know, hardship. So um, just, you know, to support our agency through this um, and make sure that we take care of the men and women who live in this building. Thank you, Emmy, so much for speaking with us. Jenny, right now we are still here at the fire. We can still see a lot of heavy smoke from the building. We're actually expecting to get an update in just a few minutes from the Indianapolis Fire Department. Uh, you know, right now we just saw a lot of the men and women that live here, the veterans that live here, get on to the just to warm. Uh, they're, uh, they just got onto a bus to stay warm. A lot of them are grabbing blankets that they can get just to stay warm. A lot of them are just wondering, where am I going to sleep tonight? We're seeing a lot of them hug each other and just band together to be okay. I can't stress how heartbreaking this is to see this fire. But it, it, the good news here, Marina, the good news here, it sounds like uh, no injuries that we know of so far uh, that people were able right to now, get out. Yes, as of right now, they haven't told us about any injuries. We're not hearing about any injuries. Uh, they are trying to get accountability. You know, we see firefighters lining people up, just trying to get names so that they can make sure they know everybody got out. Uh, one guy was telling me as soon as he heard the alarms, he went banging on his friend's doors just to make sure that all of his friends got out. So you're really seeing everybody's hearts go out to each other during this devastation. Certainly. Okay. Marina Silva reporting live for us at 10th and Pennsylvania, where this massive fire continues to burn and uh, help underway to try and help these homeless men and women uh, who live here, uh, who stay there trying to turn their lives around, trying to find shelter for them now. You're taking a live look from our tower cam. Again, this is located at 10th and Pennsylvania, which is basically caddy corner from the station here at 10th and Meridian. And you can see several ladder trucks from IFD working to put this thing out. Uh, the flames have been intense. The battle has been strong and it's been happening for almost two hours now. Again, the fire broke out around 930 and we just heard from the CEO of HVAF um, that the area where it started, where the uh, the flames began, uh, Manchester Apartments. So it was kind of in the southwest portion of that complex of buildings you see there. Um, she said that was a transition housing area for veterans, housed about 51 residents. Um, and right now they're trying to get housing for those veterans tonight. Um, Marina said that they're being put on buses, they're getting blankets, they're trying to help each other. And you know, your heart just goes out to oh all of gosh. them, Rob, as we look yeah. at these images and continue to look at the battle <laughs> that's been very difficult for IFD. And you think about of the, blankets, right? You know, because it is chilly outside. Yeah, um, yeah. Thankfully, it's not below freezing, so mm -hmm. they don't have the concern with 
um, freezing conditions because of the firefighting, you know, the water freezing sure. or, or freezing up the lines. That's not a concern. Also notice the smoke, not terribly windy, which may assist the firefighters just that a bit. That is good news. Some good news there. Um, don't expect that to necessarily be the case to, for the wind to pick up. Right. Certainly something I've been watching, um, and you and I were talking about the building itself. It seemed like it was a little bit closer to what is the bottom of your screen when right. this broke out, and now it's kind of crept toward uh, Pennsylvania. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Up and left of where you uh, where it initially started. And you can see year. that this is, you know, this is a big situation here. So mm -hmm. this is just north of downtown. We know a portion of Meridian Street is closed off. Pennsylvania Street is closed off. So this whole area is is being affected by this as well. So. Yeah, avoid it if you can. 65 mm -hmm. southbound is now open, so that may alleviate some of the traffic trying to move through. Yeah. Certainly hope we hear some more uh, good news on the front For that sure. no one was injured.